it's time for writing prompt Wednesday welcome to my channel and thank you so much for joining me today Hi there, I'm Maria Franklin and today I've got another writing prompt to get you scribbling away in your notebook or tapping away at your keyboard. I know some of you love a juicy writing prompt to get your teeth into and I love reading them in Writerly Witterings, the Facebook group I've set up for you to share and celebrate the responses to these videos. So thank you if you're one of the writers there who's ever posted their work in there for others to enjoy. I love reading it. Um, I used to offer the 12 day writing prompts but pretty much exhausted all the seasonality that was available there. I have however linked to one of those 12 day writing challenges at the end of this video. So the sentence starter I'm about to give you could be the start of anything. I think it's a pretty juicy one, even if I do say so myself. You could use it as the start of a poem, a piece of flash fiction, a short story, or you guessed it, a novel. It would make a perfect and intriguing opening line for a novel. You could take the sentence and run with it in a fictional or autobiographical way, and you could set it in the past past, present or future. Future would be really interesting for this prompt as you'll see in just a moment. So your prompt is the garden had overgrown. So yes, if you were to write this in the future, say a hundred years from now, you could imagine what a garden you know might look like then. Or you could write about a garden from your childhood and like I said this could be approached in a completely fictional way. You may be a plotter and plan out what you'd like to write before you begin so you'd be asking yourself questions like where is the garden, how big is it, what's in it, who looked after it once upon a time, why is it neglected now, or you may be a pantser like I talked about in last week's Writing Tip Tuesday video, someone who sets off writing and just see where the flow of the words takes them. So do drop into the comments to let me know whether you find this prompt inspirational and even better, post your response to it in the Facebook group I mentioned a few minutes ago. The link's in the video description. If you're enjoying this channel, I'd love it if you subscribed. You might want to also hit that notification bell so you never miss a single video. Oh, and do please hit that like button too. It tells the powers that be that writers are in enjoying my videos. I'll have another great writing prompt and some advice on how to approach it in next week's Writing Prompt Wednesday. But until then, happy writing and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.